<laughs> Hello my friends, this is your captain speaking. It's time for some amazing AI news. Let's get started right away. Today I want to get started with Gemini Canvas for coding because this is super undervalued. One thing you need to try is to ask it to write code for three js and here you can see an animation where we have these swarms of fish and they are trying to avoid my mouse pointer how amazing is this this runs right inside of the canvas i have here a slider for the speed of the fish i can make them slower i can make them faster I can reduce the amount of fish. I can add more fish because I asked for these sliders, not because they are just there. And up here, you have a button to create a link so you can share the stuff you have created with anybody on the internet. I actually will put the links of this real time running code under my video. But I also asked Gemini create for me a addictive idle game and this is what it does so here we have a reactor in the middle when i click on it this is creating energy and down here you can see the energy is counted i can have upgrades there is also a system for prestige so when i'm high enough i can reset everything to get better stats the next time when i click here i collect power here for that power i can buy upgrades you can see here factory upgrade different kinds of upgrade that it can buy and when we go deep enough here you can see this will deplete my power resources and then you can see here the amount of power I generating here it's counting up now the font size here is a little bit too big you can adjust this by just talking to the chat over here and to me that is absolutely mind-blowing because this was just two prompts to create all of that again you can share that and i will link that below my video so you can try that for yourself i think you can hear from my voice that i'm pretty excited today and here is the next thing i want to show you this is again gemini for image editing because not just chat gpt 4.0 is good at image editing also gemini now here i'm using it inside of flora ai where i have loaded here one of my vacation images you can just drag out here a new box and decide do you want to have text do you want to have an image do you want to make a video of that so you can also animate that now in this case i only want to do photo editing and you can see examples here so this is the original image and i wanted to have this with a blue cloudy sky so let's zoom in here a little bit more this is the result now in that image box down here i have the prompt where i say i have a beautiful blue sky with clouds and adjust the water reflection with ambient light accordingly and this is the result but here i wanted to have the same photo as a sunset again with the same adjustment so here I just say make it a sunset scene again with the sky in here so that is pretty pretty beautiful now we need you think hey actually i don't want to have these boats here i just want to have the nature you can of course remove the boats from the image and the people if you want to or turn it into an old timey sepia picture that is possible or maybe also turn it into an anime scene even though here the landscape changed a bit still the setup is here for that scene you can also turn that into a infrared photo with this kind of like pink color but you can also do some other very amazing stuff. For example, here I downloaded this book cover from the internet and I said, make the Pope read that book. And you can see here all the details from the book cover are there. The text is correct, but now the Pope is reading that book or put it into a street advertisement. So you can see how that would look like, or maybe put it as a print onto a cup or put it onto a coffee table like this is a photo of a room with that book how amazing is that and all of that is done as you can see here with the gemini 2.0 model that is pretty mind-blowing and something nobody's talking about right now but let's go on to the next topic here i have a video of a guy walking at the beach and actually korea edit restyle 
So when you're going to the Korea website, down here you can upload the video, you can set the strength of the video. Then you have here different control methods like map, edge, pose and color as we already know them. And then you have here styles you can select from. Let's delete this style here. You can click here and pre-select from styles that have been created by Korea. There's a lot of them that you can select from. But of course, as you can see here, you can also train your own style on your own artworks or anything you want on to do that. Now, again, let's add this back here. You can see here I have an adjustment for the strength of the style and you have here a description for what you want to do. So describe the scene a little bit. And personally, I also describe the style a little bit so that I get a better result from that. And now look at these amazing results. Now, this is the style of an impression painting and this is just mind-blowing of course yes it changes the scene a little bit but I feel like that is amazingly what I want it to be because it feels like a painting but it also feels like a dream here we have a different version of that in the style of Van Gogh as one of his paintings. Again, this beautiful dreamy style on how this is created, how very well this works. I am totally in love with these results and imagine how much cool stuff you can do that, especially just filming it with your smartphone and then turning it into any kind of other style and also changing the subject in the video. That is pretty amazing. Now, Korea has also added other new functionalities. For example, as I showed you before, the Gemini image editing is now part of the Korea chat. So you can either upload your images as I did before. You see very similar results here. Or you can also, of course, use the images, the AI images that you have created with Korea to edit them here more. And of course, that adds a huge potential to that. Another thing that's interesting here, you can see here, I can click to turn this into a video. So Korea also has edited video generation from text or from an image. Another thing that Korea has added because they are really on a run right now is turning images into 3D objects that are textured, kind of like what we have seen with open source before. But this, of course, turns it also into a part of the complete environment of Korea. And because of that makes it pretty useful and very easy to use because you don't have to install anything. And you can select here from the assets that you have created before. For example, let's take this woman here and you can just click here and this will show you a very nice animation. You can see here how that 3D shape as a wireframe is created. You can zoom in and out and look at the process while it is happening. You can see here a very nice, beautiful wireframe. And now it's also texturing it. Now for characters like this, for people, I found that the textures are all often not as detailed as I want them to be. But if you have another object, like for example, like a dragon or things like that, textures are actually better. As you can see here for the face, the texture in this case, not so great, but the finished version with the texture on that. And as you can see here, this has worked pretty nicely. Now, the cool thing here is you not only have this 3D model now with the texture, you can also download, by the way, you also can send this to real time to use images. And here's actually another update that Korea has done. And here I actually want to use the woman again, not the dragon, because this can show you better what this can do. So here I'm turning the woman into a mermaid and now they have a HD mode for the real time editing. So I can go in here. I can move the woman around in the scene. As you can see, this creates beautifully high detail scenes here. I can change the background to influence that. So see that when I have here now these kind of cherry blossom tree in the background, this is reflected in the image because I have right now my AI strength rather low. So it's picking up on that, but creating this beautiful magical forest scene. Or I can go here with a different scene where we have here this kind of scene along the sea. We can here maybe go a little bit higher with the AI 
And again, we can move around the character, put the character anywhere, for example, standing here on the shore on that stone and look at the amazing quality you get here. I really like that, especially because this is real time and you can really work with that and the ability to create these 3D shapes and then also being able to download them really gives you the ability to build assets over time. And the last thing I want to show you today is Diff Portrait 360, which looks pretty amazing again from just one photo, creating these 360 rotations of a hat. As you can imagine, this is super useful for using it in ongoing creations and images for 3D models and so on. You can see it creates a very beautiful shape of the head, very nice lighting and textures also. And there's a paper out for that that you can check out yourself. And I hope that we will see this as an open source project as soon as possible. That's already for today. I hope you are as excited as me about all these new additions, especially having things like Gemini and ChatGPT, not only in these online pages, but also included in open source as an API makes it super powerful and gives you access to these really large models in connection with open source, something I'm going to cover also soon. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,